Hey guys, Double R with you. It's April the 30th. It's late in the evening. I haven't even turned the uh, neon on in the clock tonight. Just wanted to uh, bring you guys on board here and show you what I've been working on tonight. I've been working on sanding some of this uh, fiberglass filler that I put down on the deck filler panel. And I don't have much experience with any type of filler, but I do know that fiberglass filler is hard to sand and it's hard to spread too. But uh, let me let you look at the car. This here is what it looked like when I first spread it over those plug weld holes. This is the um, right side. And I spread it as tight as I could, pressed it in as hard as I could, and about the time I thought I had it looking smooth, a piece of fiberglass would raise up out of it. So it just, I guess you just do it the best you can on that. But as far as sanding it goes, it's, it's tough to sand. And I'm just using 80 grit. I know some guys uh, will wait till it starts to kick and then they'll they'll try to sand the bulk of it right then, at least the, the top edge off, but I didn't really have time to do that the other day, so I just went ahead and spread it and just let it set up and I've just been working it a little bit tonight. But this is my first attempt here. And what I plan to do is uh couple coats of epoxy this is all in 80 grit and I'll put two more coats of epoxy on it and once I finish this other side and then I'll come back with uh, some 180 and just lightly block it it's probably it's way overkill for what I'm doing because this is a panel that nobody's gonna see this because rear windows gonna lay right on this area but I'd like to just try to learn the skill right here and then when I get out somewhere on an outside panel where it matters, I'll, I'll know a little bit more about it and what I'm doing. But I was watching a video from Pete over at DIY Auto School. And you guys he may have seen it. He was talking about using some of these foam blocks that you get with the uh, body panel replacement parts. These go to protect the edges. And that was an awesome idea. I just had to have a few of these laying around. Just happened to have a few of these laying around. And this one has a curve to it. And it actually worked really well for rolling it in where I've got some of this smeared on the outside. Rolling it in like that. It worked really good for that. And then this one has just a straight, straight edge on it. And it worked really good right, right on this part of the filler. So Pete, I appreciate that tip. It's come in real handy. I have some uh, sanding blocks, but they're not quite this small. And this is just something for detail work. And I just happened to have that laying around and that video was right on time. I appreciate that. So, anyway, I'm going to get back to work, and when I get some more, I'll turn this camera back on and let you guys see what I'm up to. Thank you, guys. Hey, guys, it's uh, May 2nd, late in the evening, Saturday night. Take a look at the clock here. Right at 10 after 9. Just a quick look at the uh, deck filler panel. After I put the uh, fiberglass filler over those low spots, this is all in 80 grit. And then the rest of the area is, is scuffed with the scotch bright. Let 
I'm getting ready to put two coats of uh, white epoxy over all of that and let it sit overnight and then late tomorrow evening I'll block it out with 180 and then I should be ready to sand that whole panel. I've got to get in the gutter area with 80 grit and once I do all that I'll be able to sand it down and then put two more coats of white epoxy over it and then I'm gonna call it good and we'll move on to the next part of the project. So just want to bring you guys along for a few minutes and uh, when I have more, I'll bring you back. Thanks. Okay guys, got the epoxy on and didn't really mix up enough paint. Started to run out. I put one light coat and then started to put one medium wet coat in on and uh, didn't really have enough. I mixed up two ounces and thought that'd be enough, but it was just a little short. So that second coat's pretty heavy. So that's, but overall, pretty happy with it. I know I got one low spot over here and I knew that going into this, I, I actually put a piece of tape right there. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but it's, it's right in this area. And got a couple gouges in my fiberglass. Right there's one. And right in there is the other one. And this, like I said, this is a little thick, which that's what I was, I meant to do that. I, I put it on a little heavy. Like I said, I'm gonna go over at 180. Now this, this area right here, I've started to run out. And what you've got right in there is dry spray and 80 grit scratch, so. But overall, not too bad. And this epoxy always seems to look better the next day after it flows out a little bit. What I think I'll do is, is Tomorrow, I'm gonna put some fiberglass right in these areas. I forgot to do that the last time that I painted it. So I sanded it back down with some 80, resprayed the epoxy and I'll, I'll mix up just a little fiberglass. Sand this down with 180 and I may put a little glaze on it right in there. Nope, I don't know, you probably will. And then, and then probably call it good. This area that I just showed you, it actually, once I recoat the whole thing again, later on in the project, it actually get painted. And I'm not real sure what color it's gonna be yet. It'll either be white or black up in this area. So that is still to be determined. And like I said, I'm just practicing my skill here and finishing up on this deck filler, so. Anyway, uh, once I get some more, I'll bring you guys back. Thanks. Hey guys, May the 4th. It's coming up on four o'clock in the evening. About five to four. We're about 74 in the shop today. I did about 45% humidity. And we've got this deck filler panel ready for a final coat of epoxy. I got everything sanded in 180. It's gonna be very hard for the camera to pick it up. But everything sanded in 180. And this channel here, I've actually got it sanded in 80 grit. I worked and worked on that thing. But these hinges was very difficult to get and I wind up sanding them by hand with 80 grit and then getting in there with scotch bright pad and scuffing what I could and same thing with that little piece. Uh, but it's ready to go, ready for 
couple coats of epoxy. I did go ahead and put a little glaze on some of those pinhole areas, sanded them out, and you can barely see I was starting to hit my fiberglass there. But and then I had one little low area right in here that I put some glaze on, and everything feels real good with it now. This white is is hard for the camera to pick it up. But we've got roughly six ounces of uh, white epoxy mixed up here. And I've got the, uh, got my Wada LP80, LPH80 ready to go. That's what I'm up to today. And uh, when I get a little bit more progress made, I'll bring you guys back. Thanks. Okay guys, I got the uh, deck filler in the last coat of epoxy and it turned out pretty good. It's It's got some peel in it and that was my fault. I started off trying to get underneath the hinge area and trying to get into the uh, weather stripping gutter area and I had the uh, fluid cranked in a little bit and I noticed something wasn't right when I wasn't running it because usually I run this white epoxy and that's what it was i had the fluid cranked in i didn't have a fluid i usually run that i want a gun at two and a half turns out and it was probably only one and a half so but let's take a look at it it's not too bad it, it does have some peel in it let me cut these big lights off and i don't know how this white is going to pick up i mean overall it looks it looks okay it looks okay for what I'm doing. It's, this was just to protect the bare metal spots at this phase of the project. The body work up here on this window area turned out really nice. It's got just a little bit of dirt in it and I didn't notice it, but the top of the car is just filthy. So this whole garage needs to be really clean. Garage is a mess. Like I said, I can't tell how well this is picking up on the camera. And usually this epoxy does look better the next day if I do have any peel in it. This has got some peel in it. And what I did, I started out trying to get underneath this area really good. And I, like I said, I had the uh, fluid tip cranked in a little bit. Same thing here, trying to get in all that area without making a big mess. And so when I actually started spraying, I should have, what I should have done is reset up the gun and then just just started making my passes, but I left it at the same setting, so. But overall, pretty happy with it. I can't really complain at this stage of the project. Like I said, I just wanted to get, get that panel, get some protection on it. We've still got to weld the quarters on and still got to actually put the hinges on and put the trunk tension rods on and get the trunk sitting on the car. So, I mean, we got a long way to go, but, but this, will, this will actually help the bare metal, you know, as far as rust and all that good stuff. And that pretty much concludes that panel. I mean, for now, I mean, it's, it's really time to move on to something else. And of course you guys know what that is. Anybody following the ch channel, it's gonna be uh, truck time. So, right there's the pan. And I've got a lot of time in this pan already. I mean, it's got, it's got some epoxy on, on it here at the top. This is SPI black epoxy. And this is the SPI red mixed with some black. So, and it's already been fitted. I've probably had 
this thing in the car probably 10 times or more. So the rails are already prepped. Of course they got, they're covered up with paper right now. The biggest thing on, on that pan, getting it in the car will be getting the, uh, getting the rear axle bolted back up to the frame rails. And I've got these shackles here to put back on. I was going to go ahead and restore these, but I think I'll wait. I'll just wait till I get the car on the rotisserie. And once I do that, I'll, I'll have these out and I'll restore them at that point. No use in restoring them right now. And I've got all this welding and grinding to do around them. So I'd probably just wind up wasting my time redoing them. So got to get the rear end bolted back to the frame rails. Got to get the, on the bottom side of the plug welds, I need to go ahead and remove the epoxy around the, the, uh, the bottom. I, I put some, I put some of those round stickers here on the top, but the bottom, I didn't have any, so I just, that I all have to be removed, and then I'll have to put my, um, well through primer on the bottom there so we have to do that and well through primer and then we'll be test fitting it one last time triple checking all the measurements we've got sheet metal screws that for our alignment holes as long as that all lines up right we'll be ready to fire the welder up again and then we'll go ahead and weld it in. We'll probably go ahead and, and finish this area out up in here with, uh, we'll probably finish all this area right here with epoxy and, and put our smear fiberglass down. And this area right here, we'll prob all these plug welds, we'll probably just, um, probably just grind those down and, and spray one coat of epoxy over them just to keep them from rusting. Because we still got a lot of welding to do on the side of this thing for the uh, drop offs. And we got we got to do the welding on the inner tail panel. So we still got a lot of work once it's in the car. Get us a coat of fiberglass on it. Get us some epoxy on it, just enough to protect it. And then what we'll do, oh, we got to do the, uh, we got to do some brackets. There's some brackets that go with that for the, uh, the jack, the uh, bumper jack. So we got to weld that in. And then once we get that done, that's when I was telling y'all that we'll take a break on this project just a month or so. And I've got to get that truck cover in here. So we'll get the Camaro out of the garage. We'll get this bay cleaned up. Get all this welding debris out of here and, and get everything cleaned up real nice. And I'll put the stuff back down on the floor to get it all set up for painting. And we'll work on that tonneau cover. So, and once the tonneau cover's done, we'll get back to these doors. That's where we'll be at the next step of the project. We'll go ahead and do the doors. They're already ready. We just got to put the skins on it. So. That'd be a first time doing that for me, so we'll see how that goes. And as far as the list goes, it pretty much takes care of the whole, all the top there, the deck filler. And we're just about done with the trunk, really. I mean, there's, there's a lot left to do on the trunk, but mainly it's just test fitting it one last time and getting ready to fire the welder up. Okay guys, one last look with all the paper off of it. Like I said, it's got a little bit of orange peel. But overall, not too bad. Did put one little sag in it right in here.
overall turned out pretty good. A little bit more sanding on that panel and we'll probably be ready for some sealer and maybe some base on it once we get the quarters on and everything. But like I said, this will keep it protected while we continue to work on the project. I'm sure all you guys are getting tired of hearing the words deck filler, so it is time to move on, definitely. So I've got a trip to go out of town for work, be gone for 10 days, so there won't be no progress for that. Actually, by the time I get this edited and on YouTube, hopefully I'll be almost home by that time. So, and when I get back, we'll, we'll get started back on the project. I want to thank all my new subscribers. I want to thank everybody that's commenting and following the channel. And when I, when I get home and get back to work on the project, I'll turn this camera on, give you an update. Thank you guys.